Hey, this is Matt Reisinger and Jordan Smith from The Build Show. On today's video, we're going to be testing some glues. We're going to see if there's a difference between a lesser expensive and a more expensive glue. And today's video is brought to you by Lowe's. Let's get going. Okay, guys, so here's what we're doing on today's video. We've got four glues that literally are on the shelf at your local Lowe's. We wanted to see what it was like if you're a remodeler, you've got a project starting, you're going to the shelf at your local Lowe's, how do you know which glue is gonna perform in the situation that you're about to encounter that day? And honestly, is there a lot of difference between a lesser expensive and a more expensive glue? So Jordan, tell us about the four that we've got in the test. Okay, Matt, so we've got two different manufacturers. We have got Liquid Nails and we have got Loctite. And we've mm -hmm. got a cheaper version of Liquid Nails and a more expensive, starting at about $3.48, going up to $8 a bottle. So pretty big price swing in it. And we're gonna be testing them to see if they, if spending more gives you more performance. I like it. So Jordan, tell me about this test that you've devised. All right, yeah, so it's a shear test. We've got metal blocks glued to wooden blocks on both sides, and then we're pulling up, and our adhesive is put in shear, and we're gonna be testing three joints. So we're gonna be testing adhesive to wood, adhesive to adhesive in the middle, and then adhesive to metal. Yeah. And we're seeing where they fell and at what, uh, at what weight they fell at. Okay, so all four of these glues say that they will adhere to these materials. These are what we would consider construction adhesives, meaning they generally are good for all kinds of different surfaces. And every one of these said that metal was an approved substrate. And also, if you read the directions on these, you need to be cautious when you're using adhesives to metal. These are moisture cure adhesives, and it says that you need to add moisture. So, Jordan, tell me about how you prep these samples. Yeah, so. One of the problems with gluing metal to metal is that it's a non-porous surface and because this is a moisture cure, once the outside cures, no more moisture can penetrate into the adhesive and cure it. So when you pull it apart, you'll have a sticky middle mm -hmm. and that doesn't give you any strength at all. So one of the things that helps this is wood. Wood's able to hold in moisture like you're always talking about on your hydric, hydra, <laughs> hydric, hydric, hydric buffer, capacity. buffer capacity. So wood is able to hold moisture. Metal is not, that helps us, but in addition to that, we are spritzing the adhesives with water per the manufacturer's directions to help the cure on that metal to adhesive bond. Gotcha, now we've done this 48 hours ago, so these have been curing for really two days. We just ran the test, and tell me about your test rig that we're using here, Jordan. Yeah, so it's just a simple chain hoist. I got a two ton chain hoist. I've got a one ton scale in between my uh, testing uh, the, the part that I'm testing and the scale, and then it's all held down at the bottom with a welded bracket. So we're able to slap these in here, test it, pull it out, and put another one in really quick. We can do a lot of fast testing in a very efficient manner. Love it. Tell me about the results you got on yours. All right, so on the Liquid Nails Extreme Heavy Duty, this is about $350 a tube, mm -hmm. and we get 35 pounds. There are cheaper glues off the shelf, as professionals, we just don't recommend yeah. going any lower than that. 35 pounds is a reasonable. Reasonable. If you have a large surface and you're hanging something light, it's it's a reasonable professional glue. Um, stepping up though, you spend about twice as much. You step up to the seven dollars, mm -hmm. and you get 123 pounds. Ooh, five x better. Five x. You're spending twice as much, but you're at five x, and now you've got the confidence that whatever you're gluing together is going to stay together for the long haul. Love it. And that's remember, guys, that's one square inch of glue ultimately is what we used. Okay, now let's talk about my two. These are Loctite's brand, PL, and this is their premium 3X. This runs $4.98 a tube. And when we put this one in the test rig, this one did a little better, 275 pounds on this one. And then the top of the line glue, $7.58 a tube. This is PL's Fast Grab Premium. And it's got an 8X on there, so we expect it to do better. And this one pulled 362 pounds. So you're spending 50% more, and you almost get, not quite, but almost 50% better results. This one was the clear winner, the top of the line glue, also the most expensive. But what's funny about this is this is 3X, and this is 8X but of what yeah. like you don't divide the strength by three and get something that you multiply by eight to get this so don't it this is what's Start. this is what's this tough about adhesives yeah. is because you've got so many different manufacturers and they all have their own marketing stuff that mm -hmm. you don't know how to interpret anyway so get some glues 
test it yourselves. We're going to keep testing glues. Yeah. We're going to do wood on wood. Mm -hmm. We're going to be testing some epoxies. I mean, we've got now that we've got the test rig, we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff to show what is the ultimate and then how much do you want to spend to get what performance. Jordan, I think the ultimate takeaway on this test, though, is kind of what we expected. When you spend more, you get more, right? Among these manufacturers lines, when you step up to the more expensive glue, you get a magnitude better in terms of performance. Now, this is a hard test. When you're adhering to metal over the years, I've found that that's a hard thing to, to glue to. But as a remodeler, or even a new construction, we see this all the time. Steel beams in houses, they need two buys glued to them so you can hang sheetrock over there. All kinds of different scenarios where you're gonna have this. And I think this is an interesting bellwether to see how these glues do generally. But stay tuned, cause. Yeah, so talking about different manufacturers and the different levels, PL continues to go. You can't get it necessarily off the shelf, but there are some higher end glues that PL makes that mm -hmm. we're gonna be testing over at my channel just posted right after the week after you post this one. Yeah. I think that's how that works. So if you're not familiar with Jordan's channel, we'll put a link in the description to get there. Jordan's publishing every Thursday on his version of the Build Show. And if you're not a subscriber here, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Build Show.